Hi, right, welcome back to another. You <laughs> almost that the first time. Why? Hi, right, welcome back to another happy hour with Jack and myself, Paul. And today we're making a classic smoked Manhattan. This is a very easy recipe to make, but we're adding, you know, a smoky twist to it. That's right. And like you said, this is super easy to make. So all we have here is a mixing glass with ice, a bar spoon, a jigger to measure our pours, and then the ingredients for this are bourbon, sweet vermouth. You can also use rye, by the way, if you prefer rye. We have Luxardo cherries, which you can also use just regular maraschino cherries. Right. And then we have bitters here. This is a Bohemian bitters by Old Forster. So this is cherry and chocolate flavored, but whatever flavor you have is great. And today we're using cherry smoke dust. You obviously you're gonna need your smoker and your smoke show torch. All right. All right. All right, so this recipe is very easy to make. You barely even have to measure it. So we're gonna take two ounces of bourbon and we're gonna go right in the mixing glass with that. Two ounces. And then we have one ounce of sweet vermouth. Oh, came out a little quick there. <laughs> All right, and then the last thing, this is optional. So we have our cherry on a skewer to garnish. Um, I, I really like when I make mine to just add a little bit of this Luxardo syrup just because it's so tasty. So if you're gonna add your cherry directly to the glass, which a lot of people do, where you just scoop it in the bottom, then just make sure you include a little bit of that syrup. But if you're not doing that, then just add it here. Okay, and now we're gonna stir. Once you have that all stirred up, we're just gonna take our strainer, which mysteriously disappeared <laughs> you didn't even between mention it. the videos. <laughs> all right, so we found the strainer, and we're going to, by the way, you need a strainer for this, and we're going to strain this into our glass. All right, that was easy. Yeah, super quick drink to make. Really good for if you're having like a cocktail party, you can actually pre-batch these in large batches, right. throw them in the fridge, and they just get better with time. So keep that in mind. Mm. And I'm gonna pass it over to Paul. Oh, actually, first we need some bitters. Mm. And here we're gonna do three to five drops. If you have like a, a kind of bitters that uses mm. dashes, then just three dashes is fine. And I'm gonna pass it over to Paul now for the smoke show. All right, there's more grain. Let's get them. So in this we're using cherry because of the bitters. You can also use bourbon barrel, you can use cinnamon, it's delicious. Rosemary is delicious. Pretty much any of our flavors are delicious with this. All right, get it. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's see. And the last step is the cherry on top. Is that right. a try? Mm. I love the way that glass holds the smoke. Yeah, tastes good. I'm not a big fan actually of very, you know, I, can, I can really taste the alcohol, but mm -hmm. you know, good. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely like a, a bourbon drinker's drink. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It's not quite as approachable for people who aren't huge bourbon fans. Like right, like me. I, on the other hand, love this. This oh, really? is my go-to cocktail. I drink these all the time. They're nice. really, really good. Um, but yeah, that cherry smoke with the cherry bitters actually really amps up sort of like the best part. The best part of a Manhattan is that that pop of cherry at the end when you finish the drink and you get to right. eat the cherry. So this is, this is to me, delicious. Nice. Yeah. So that's our smoked Manhattan. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. If you try the recipe, let us know. If you like this video and you want to see more of it, then hit subscribe. We post new recipes every Thursday. That's right. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs>